And so now it's my pleasure to welcome our student speaker, Rihanna Tautiva, who is a uh, junior majoring in Latin American Studies and Spanish, and her focus will be on using um, these, these disciplines for business. She comes from Boston. Thank you, Dean Shaw. I am grateful to be here to share my story. Every day at WashU, I am surrounded by incredible intellectuals. And every morning when I go to class, there is a world of opportunity that lies in front of me. But in the back of my head, I always wonder, why me? My father was born on a dirt floor in Colombia, and his parents cleaned floors and barn stables in the hopes that one day their children, their grandchildren, could secure a better future than the one they did. And my parents, they work every day as a dance teacher and a training manager just to make that dream a reality. As a kid, I had everything. Through good times and bad, I had a family that loved me. New clothes each year for school, books and friends, and never a worry of what tomorrow would bring though I never quite understood as a child the sacrifices my parents made to make that dream my reality. There were undoubtedly years we struggled, when the lights wouldn't turn on because we couldn't afford to pay the electricity bills. But I can remember sitting there with my SAT prep book and a flashlight, jamming out to Shakira because no matter what, it was ingrained in my head that I was going to college. I suppose, if I'm being honest with you, there were days I felt sorry for myself. That I would study day and night, apply to college after college, knowing that I couldn't afford to go even if I did get in. And yet, here I am. I am here because the generations before me laid a path for my success. I am here because my parents pushed me to be better and made sure I never fell behind because they sacrificed everything to make sure I have unlimited opportunities. I am here because there are generous people in this world, like those sitting in this room, that value the education of an individual they've never even met. Every student in this room, including myself, is the blessed recipient of a scholarship that allows them to attend Washington University. We are here because of the selflessness of others. Now that I am here, I understand what privilege really means. Privilege is the gift of meeting professors every semester that open up my mind, make me think differently. It's going to dance competitions with my salsa team and being able to call them my family. Privilege is opportunity, like those I will have in my future business endeavors, where I dream of being a businesswoman and going in the marketing or the trade industry to work with Latino populations. Not only will I have a degree from a distinguished university, but also the knowledge to support me in my professional aspirations. Above all, I've come to realize that privilege is a responsibility, an obligation to become something more, to give back. It's a moral duty to not just read about the labor movements in Latin America, memorize economic principles, that provide national security, or to take classes about the geographical development of nations. But to know how learning these things can help me help others in my own professional aspirations, so that I can go forward in my dreams as a businesswoman and create jobs in Latin America for those whose dreams resemble those of my grandparents. The privilege I have of attending Washington University, of having a scholarship to educate me, is more than a gift. It's an indebtedness to the world, a moral obligation to give back the gift I was given. I would like to end by telling you a story about a man named Sergio. My parents recently moved back to Colombia, and at their apartment, Sergio is a simple doorman, very typical of Colombian apartments, and I would see him every day as I walked outside. He is two years older than me, with a child and a full-time job. He makes $300 a month, never went to college, and never even finished high school. And yet, he's so eager to learn 
and will sit down with my mother every night just to learn English. She teaches him. He looks at her as if she's handing him the world on a silver platter. I am not Sergio. I will make more than $300 a month, and my child will not be born on a dirt floor like my father was. I am not Sergio, but every day he reminded me of how lucky I am. I am not Sergio, but he taught me what all my professors have been trying to ingrain in my head since the day I got here. Sergio humanizes the stories from my textbooks. He brings to life the conditions of poverty, underdevelopment, class struggle, and hardship I read about every day. His condition, his life, is permanent. And though he is my age, his geographical location denies him the same opportunities my peers and I are fortunate enough to have. I realize that I have been given an undeniable gift to learn, a privilege I realize greater than any other, and education is a gift that no one can take away from you. On behalf of all the scholarship recipients, I would like to say thank you for the opportunity to be a part of the WashU community, for the ability to learn and develop the education of our dreams. I would like to say thank you to the Branch and Kulkarni family for my personal education and to every family that donates in recognition of the importance of an education. I would like to say thank you on behalf of my future and the future of every student at Washington University. Because of you, we will go forth in this world and make a difference. Thank you.